Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Friday, July 2nd. This is our weekly recap. It goes out to all my members as well as people who follow me on YouTube, my email list. If you want to learn more about me, come over to SmartOptionTrading.com. Link in the description below. Click on Live Trading Alerts. We have private Twitter feed, a Discord room, and we use Zoom for video and voice and a very active community. So let's talk about this week. This week was a good week. Right, the markets here. If you look at the week, right, quasi quiet candle on Monday, Tuesday, okay. All right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday pushed up, and here we are, new all time highs at 433.49 on very low volume as we go into the long weekend. Remember, guys, the markets are closed on Tuesdays. The Qs said today, huh, we're not going to be left behind. They gapped up big. Look at the size of this gap up on the Qs, right? Big gap up here. You now create a gap here to fill, right? Gap and go on the cues. Strong move to new all-time highs here as well. So the market's saying it's just fine. The IWM getting beaten to a pulp today. The diamond's doing eh, a little bit here. The energy taking the day off. OPEC has yet to be able to come to some type of agreement. And the financials just not participating here, but holding in just fine. When we talk about this week, this week was forget the indexes, which were low volume and tight range, and it was all about names. You know, let's look at some of the trades this week and what we did. Monday, Monday was a great day. Monday, uh, Apple was in play, right? Look at Apple this week, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look at this extension up. Look at this move on Apple now as it's pushing not far back from its all-time high, finally waking up after sleeping forever. So Apple was in play all week long. Microsoft new all-time highs has been strong all week as long, extending here a lot. Uh, what else? AMD this week woke up, right? Big move up. Yesterday took an inside day. Today extending a little bit more. But look at this move. You know, again, another name that is pushing back towards all-time highs at 99.23. Very strong there. NVIDIA this week was monstrous again, you know, pushing up. You know, the split is now not for in about 20 days or so. Strong move there. Neo gave a nice couple day run into their job, their the delivery numbers yesterday, where it sold off, right? Sell the news type of event, but lots of good action in that one. Uh, believe it or not, Coin woke up this week, actually gave a nice two day trade before falling back in. There were trades to be had on that. Uh, help me out, guys. Here we have that Home Depot tried to push up this week. It's grinding. Same thing with Cost, the big box retailers and target and hitting you know all-time highs on these airbnb yesterday gave us a nice head fake it gave a quick opening trade that it came back in and couldn't quite go but it's holding in just fine uh uber seeing some flow is trying to wake up it's really got to take out this 52 area to get going and you know bottom line is the markets are acting strong there's been plenty to play um you know fsly was in play on a buyout rumor FSLY was in play on a buyout rumor. BBBY gave a quick trade off of their earnings report on Wednesday for a nice move. Tesla this morning gave a nice trade off their delivery numbers, but ultimately came back down. But bottom line is the market's giving trades. You just have to be paying attention to it, watching what's in play and figuring out, you know, and avoiding everything else. And if you do that, you're trading well and you're making money. You don't overstay your welcome. But if you're if you're looking at the indexes and you're trading the names that don't have volume and not in play, well, you're going to be struggling in this market. I don't I don't have any other way to put it. Right. This market is literally about uh, different names, different days. And, you know, they're really liking a lot of the big cap tech here. Chris in the room puts it that way. You know, names like Microsoft, Amazon pushing up today as well. And we'll see if they rotate next week when we come back on Tuesday. So with that said, I'm wishing all of you guys a very happy 4th of July here in the States. If you're not in the States, have a great long weekend. Markets are closed Monday. I'll post some charts on Monday morning before I get out of here and go spend the day outside. And I'll see you guys in the room bright and early on Tuesday a.m.